This is an interactive mirror we just built. I like to call it the Smart Mirror AI. It features a face detection module, so you can have access to your individual profiles, as well as a touchscreen interface, so you can control your favorite home appliances. With this always on display, you always have access to your weekly weather, your Sync's Google Calendar, news, and also you can control your music, as well as other stuff. A quick demo, Alexa, play jazz on Spotify. Shuffling jazz vibes from Spotify. So this part of the audio was muted for copyright reasons. You can also control home appliances with the face detection module. In this example here, we got it turning on the kettle. Pretty much a bad example, but you get the idea. But let me not get too distracted. In this video, we're gonna find out how to build one with a Raspberry Pi and a Magic Mirror software. Let's go somewhere a bit more comfy. Alexa, lights off. Okay. Right, before we start, if you like this type of content, help us beat the YouTube algorithm by smashing the like button and also dropping a comment like right below. I reply to every comment, even if the comment is literally comment. Also, if you're new here, subscribe. We're 20 off the 100 subscriber list. Let's see where we can go with this. Oh, and one more thing. If you watch to the end, we've got one thing we'd like to show you. This is the overview of what we're gonna cover. The part list. First of all, we'll need a Raspberry Pi 4, which is recommended. A Raspberry Pi module. A Raspberry Pi case. A micro SD. An SD card adapter. An Alexa, which is optional. A HDMI cable. Make sure you have the micro HDMI. The Pi 4 charger, which is a USB-C, a mouse, and lastly the keyboard. You can get the following parts in the description below. So how the magic mirror works is we have a two-way mirror and a monitor. The moment the monitor is behind the mirror, light is able to go through, which gives us the premise of the magic mirror. But the question is, how can we make this a touchscreen mirror? So it turns out this is the answer. It's an IR frame that we ordered online and it's really good to be honest. It has a plug and play peripheral and I was really surprised about the responsiveness of it. I got carried away here. So how does an IR frame actually work? Well, it seems that there's a series of LEDs on one side and detectors on the other. And based on the beam interruption, you're able to coordinate specifically where you've touched. The next part of the video was putting the two-way mirror on top of the monitor, which happened to be a 32 inch TV and placing the actual IR frame right on top. This is the specific layout. We also got some LED strips to make sure that it lights up. It also helps with the aesthetic. With these different colors, you're able to program it to basically, when you see the face detection, is able to light up a specific color. The next part was assembling the Raspberry Pi into its case and assembling the whole mirror together. So this is the monitor and the LED strip, as well as the Raspberry Pi. The Pi Cam module was also included for face detection. So a wooden frame was built around the 32 inch mirror to encase it. The main material used was fiberboard wood. It was put together with PVA glue, some strong PVA glue, and uh, some nails. To give it a nice glossy feel, some interior varnish was used. The next part of this was the assembly of the 32 inch monitor, 
into the wooden frame. So now I was playing around with the different LED settings to find the right color. It turned out purple was a good fit for the room. I played around a bit more with the responsiveness of the IR frame and to be honest I was really happy with it because this will make a really responsive smart mirror. But it turned out that this wasn't the only thing I could do so I in installed Minecraft to see how I can move around. I'm still trying to figure that out. The next part is etching the Raspberry and OS onto the SD card to use for the Raspberry Pi. Simply place your SD card into the SD card adapter and plug it into your PC or Mac. Eventually it will load. Head off to raspberry.org and their downloads. Here you will see Raspbian and download the latest zip. Once we do that, we will download and install the Etcher software so we can etch the image onto the SD card. For Mac, you can simply just drag and drop into the applications. Once installed, you can select your image after unzipping it. This image will be the thing we just downloaded. Make sure you select the right disk. The flashing process can take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Once that's done, you can now unmount your SD card and plug it into your Raspberry Pi 4. It's now time to install the Magic Mirror software. Now your Raspberry Pi is on, it's now time to finish the setup. Choose your country and language and hit the next button. I'm using a Wi-Fi network already, so I've completed the setup. Hit your browser and type in Magic Mirror. Now the Magic Mirror is an open source software provided by a fella named Mitch Mitch. And it's really a really good community and it's got a lot of support. There's a lot of third party modules which we'll go into. But now we're doing a manual installation. The first part of here is to open your terminal and put in this following command. This will download and install the Node.js version. The next part is to clone the git repository of the magic mirror. and we're going to install the application with npm install. This may take a while. Once we've changed the config, we can do npm start and to start the magic mirror. And there you have it. Also, if you would like to have it auto start, and here's the PM2 guide. We're now going to be adding a touchscreen module to the Magic Mirror. Now going on the Magic Mirror site and clicking on the modules button, we will see a list of modules and there are a vast amount of modules which make it such a great project because you can go from anything from Spotify modules to news modules to get the latest news as well as Google Sync calendars and the one I've developed, a smart screen touch interactive module. I call it smart touch. 
I'm not good with names. So in order to install this module, you can simply copy and paste the specific commands into the terminal. Once cloned, we can now install. And the module's been installed. Lastly is adding the module to the config file. You can find this in your magic mirror folder under the config folder and config.js. You can scroll all the way to the bottom and just put it as the last module. It's good to format your code. And we're launching it. And this is the new mirror module. You can resize your mirror by pressing Ctrl plus or minus. You can see this module now hides the mirror. And here's a final version of some added modules with the Spotify. This is also linked to your phone, so when you play music on your phone, it shows a preview on your mirror. You can see the final version here. For now, you can find the prepackaged image on our website and you can simply download it and add you onto your Pi. Right, thanks for staying to the end of this video, unless you skip forward. But the little thing we wanted to show you was this electric skateboard. Um, it's great for getting around, especially in this environment. It's something that's been created, a DIY skateboard. And if it's worth showing, I mean, we might make a tutorial on it. It works with a remote and you can move around as well as it's got its own battery. So if you're interested in things like this, drop a subscribe and let's see where we can go with this. Peace.